Good morning, fellas. DIY Woodworker here with you. Well, attempt number three on getting this video produced. Uh, when I last let, last, <laughs> geez, when I last left you, I was putting on my drawer front panels. Now, when I put this one on. When I closed the drawer, I looked here, I could see there was just a slight little edge of light shining through there, indicating that my drawer cover was too low, and my drawer was too low. And I thought, Lord have mercy, I'm going to have to raise the drawer slides up about a quarter inch, get these things to cover the opening in the drawer that I, that I wanted to cover. And I thought, well, I'll wait, do that another day, I'm not going to do it today. Well. During the night while I was supposedly sleeping, it came to me, well, dummy, you don't have to raise the drawer slides. Just increase the height of the drawer front cover a half an inch and that'll take care of your problem. I'm just so intelligent sometimes. Now, <clears throat> when I last left you, I uh, had a problem with all my drawers being crooked. Now this is exaggerated, but they were crooked in the drawer slide. And I was trying to figure out what it was. Well, when I put all my drawer slides in, I just eyeballed them and said, yeah, that looks good, and put them in. Well, I've got crooked eyeballs. So I remembered that I had this handy dandy, trusty dusty little drawer slide installer tool. Went and found it wherever it got put. Uh, used it to install the top drawer two slides which got the front end even and I put the drawer in and this is exaggerated but it was still crooked like yay the back drawer was slide I found out was down lower even with that they went in crooked so I took the one drawer slide that looked like it was correct and I checked and put a level on it and it was level and I measured up to the height of the top of the rail, took that measurement, took it over to the other one, and sure enough, it was a good three-eighths of a quarter inch off, about a quarter inch off. So I unscrewed, raised the rear, left the front screw in, pivoted and raised the rear of the slide up to that same height to where they were both the same height, checked it for level, put my drawer in, and what do you know? <laughs> it was no longer crooked, I tell you what. Anyhow, so I readjusted all my drawer slides. Put my drawer in, and I've designed this. I've got a one by two, which is three quarter by inch and a half, as you all know, uh, face frame on the front of the cabinet. And I wanted these, this drawer front here, when I slide it in and close it, it would fit in between the uh, face frame. <laughs> well, where am I going with this? <laughs> Anyhow, it uh, didn't quite fit. Oh, I know, it didn't quite fit. It stood out from, from the face of the cabinet. I wanted it flush fit up against that face, cabinet face. Come to find out, I installed my drawer slides like they tell you to do about a sixteenth inch off the face frame. Well, in this case, because I'm insetting my drawer frame, I had to move my drawer slides back three quarters of an inch, the depth of that uh, face frame. Once I did that, I got a flush fit on my face front. So I've got the one set of slides moved back, the other two set of slides, I've got to move them back yet, but I'll do that later. Right now, I'm in the process of installing this tow kit piece over here to fill in where the tow kit goes and, and fill that hole in. So I'm in the process of getting ready to drill pocket hole screws. And I'll put this in like I told you, I, I, I use pocket hole screws a limited amount. And this is one case where I will because I can't get any clamps on this to clamp it down. I will glue it on three sides and pocket hole screw it to the side and to the base to hold that in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, once I've got that done, we'll come back and see where we're at. So we'll be back with you in a little bit. Okay, guys. I think we're finally making a little bit of headway here. It's 
hard to see. Uh, let me readjust this camera here. I can't hardly see it. My viewfinder in this. Okay, that ought to get it. Don't need me in the picture anyway. All right, I got the toe kick bottom end down here. That's closed in. I got uh, a drawer recut. Now it covers where I want it to cover. Everything slides in and out easily. So one down, two to go. Of course, I still need to do a lot of sanding and stuff. And here on the back, I need to put a little putty in here where I pull the other screws out to replace this. But that's no biggie. It's going to be on the interior of the cabinet. You won't see it anyway. But uh, making some headway. Right now, I need to pause and uh, go sit down and rest a little bit. As you can see, there's not hardly a dry stitch on me already. It's not that hot, really. It's quite mild for this time of the year for southeast Texas, but boy, oh, Heidi, the humidity is just outrageous. So, and as usual, my sweat glands are in overdrive. So, anyhow, uh, that's what I've got so far. That's my progress so far. The next thing to do is to readjust these two uh, drawer slides, move them back in like I move these in so that'll close flush like I want it there in between these face frame rails and uh, get that done. Everything else is looking good. The drawer's in there level. Everything looks fine. So I'm a happy camper right now. So uh, I'm going to pause the video for now and we'll be back with you shortly. Okay guys, I think it's time to take a break. There's not a dry stitch on me. It's my sweat band gave up the ghost about 10 minutes ago. Sweat's just rolling off of me down in my face and my eyes. Anyhow, we're this far. I got my three drawers in, as you can see here. All three of them are in. All three of them work to some fashion. This is the false front that goes in because the sink base is going to fit down about 10 inches in here. What's left is just building and putting the door on here. And well, I got to put the shelf in the middle too, but I can get that later. So I just thought I'd show you, update where I'm at. Woo! Man, all right. This is going to be the last outside project for a little bit, I think. <laughs> yeah, oh man, I just sweat so bad I can't get nothing done. I hope all this sweat don't stain my wood, even though we are going to paint it. It's going to be painted white, but still, it's been a chore getting it this far, but we're there, making some progress anyway. Uh, I'm going to go in and sit down for a spell and cool off, and uh, we'll come back with you when I got something else to talk about. We'll be back in a little while. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do here is uh, rough cut my front door. Uh, 